things. Number one, it is highly recommended for a Muslim on a day of Friday to go to the masjid as early as possible. And the Prophet said والسلام, that whoever goes in the first period or the first hour as if he had sacrificed a camel. The second hour is as if he sacrificed a cow, then a sheep, then a chicken, then an egg. And this is the last thing when the Imam comes in and the angels would fold their registration books so that anyone who comes afterwards would not be rewarded as those who came earlier and they would sit and listen and coming to the mosque earlier these five hours scholars have differed upon are they like our own hours 60 minutes the answer is definitely not because the hour in the quran and in the sunnah refers to a particular period of time that can be long it can be short and usually it is referred to as something that is short and the scholars beginning from Salatul Duha time and this is after the sunrise by 15 10 to 15 minutes so do you mean to tell me that people used to go to attend Friday prayers at 7 30 or 8 o'clock that is yes because this is once in a week and this is the weekly Eid of the believers of the Muslims and hence going there this early would grant them a lot of reward that are beyond imagination what kind of rewards well there's an authentic hadith that blows your mind when you listen to the reward in it. The Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, man ghassala wa ghtasal. And this brings us to number two of the things that are recommended, which is taking a bath on Friday, and we will get to talk about the ruling on that. So the Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever takes a bath and cleanses himself well, وَبَكَّرَ وَبْتَكَرْ And he goes out from his home real early to the masjid. وَمَشَى وَلَمْ يَرْكَبْ And he walked to the masjid and did not take a ride. وَدَنَا مِنَ الْإِمَامِ وَأَنصَطْ And he got as close as he can get to the Imam's position and paid attention. And he listens to the Imam and does not distract himself or others by not talking, by not touching the pebbles, by not playing around. So if any person does step, he makes from his home to the masjid. He'll be rewarded for every step he makes from his home to the masjid by a year fasting and praying. What do you mean? It means that if your house is 500 steps away from the masjid, you will be given, you will be awarded 500 years of good deeds as if you had prayed all these 500 years night prayer and you have fasted all these 500 years voluntary fasting what about if i live 300 3000 10000 steps away you will be rewarded that <clears throat> this is mind blowing and this is the grace of allah azza wa jal upon those who are granted this blessing of going to the masjid earlier because the vast majority of Muslims <clears throat> only come a minute or two before the Imam enters the masjid and those are the whoa 
righteous practicing Muslims. The normal people would come after the first sermon or after the second sermon or maybe after the Imam has prayed one rakah. And this shows how much neglectful people are. Again, this great reward is for whomever does the things that we've mentioned earlier in the hadith. And women can justifiably ask if this is for men, but we were ordered not to pray in the masjid. So wouldn't that be unfair for us to stay back home while all the men are getting all the great rewards? The answer is no. Because it was the Prophet himself, alayhi salatu wasalam, who said that the prayer of a woman is better for her in her home than in his masjid. Which means that as long as she anticipates the reward of praying home, that she will be rewarded as the man is rewarded in his masjid with all these steps, with all these years, and Allah Azza knows best.